I want to show you a great tool that will not only make teaching and learning more innovative, but it really helps make information and conversations much more accessible for people who speak different languages. Here it is. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Krinas, and in my role as instructional coach for digital learning, it's my job to help teaching and learning become more innovative. In this video, I want to show you a really great tool called Microsoft Translator that will not only help make instruction and teaching and learning more innovative, but really much more accessible. This is a tool that could be used in schools and classrooms, but even outside of school as well, to make communication and conversations much more accessible and much more comfortable for people who don't even speak the same language. Let me show you. Okay, so welcome to my Chromebook screen. You know, Microsoft Translator is a very powerful app and actually can be used on lots of different device types. For me, in my school and in my personal life, uh, we use in my family Chromebooks and at the school as well. But if you have other mobile devices or really any device that can download Microsoft Translator from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, then it'll work on just about any device. Here it is open on my Chromebook screen, and at first I just want to walk you through some of the other icons before we get to the conversation mode. The top icon is the microphone, and what that does is it allows for a one-on-one -on -one conversation to happen where multiple people are using the same device but in different languages. One person speaks into the device and text will show up in the other person's language and so on and so forth. The next icon on the left is the keyboard, which allows you to do just about the same thing, but by typing your, your text. You can do this to type memos or emails or other messages that you're taking from your native language and translating it into someone else's language. And the bottom icon is the camera, which means that you can take a picture or scan an image or a document on your mobile device or another device that has a camera with it, like a webcam, and it'll translate the document or the image, like a street sign or a business sign, into your native language. Finally, on the right, we have conversation mode. That's the one I really want to show you because that's the one that's super powerful for educators or anyone else, maybe in a business setting, giving a presentation, and wanting to translate your message to more people or even an audience full of people in whatever their native language is. And it doesn't have to be the same language, it's whatever language each individual audience member, or in this case we're going to call them guests, what their language preference is. So we open up the conversation mode here in the app and you'll notice there are two different options. We can join the conversation as a guest or we can start a conversation as the host. If you're joining, it gives you space to type in a join code or to even click the camera and scan a QR code. In this case, I want to show you what it's like to start a conversation. So we're going to click start and now we become the host of the conversation. You're going to type in your name, select your language, and click enter. Now the conversation is created and it gives you that join code as well as the QR code and additionally it gives you a web address that your guests can type in to join the conversation. I'm going to show you what that looks like in the web version just because I want to compare side by side between the host view and also the guest view. So I'm going to click enter on the host view to start the conversation but let me show you what that looks like when we bring it up on the web. Here we are in the web version, and uh, I used the link. I used the link that was provided when the host started the conversation, and now I can enter the five-letter code to join, and then along with my name and of course my language. 
I'm going to keep it in English because, well, I'm not fluent in any other language enough to know that once you do that, it converts not only the text you're seeing on the screen in the conversation, but all of the text, including the instructions and the settings on the site. So just so that I don't get too confused, I'm actually going to join both of these aspects of the conversation, the host and the guest, using English as the language. But if you don't speak English or your guests don't speak English, then they can have it translated in a number of different languages. So now, this is just two people. Both of us are in the conversation and you can see on the host screen that it says DK joined because that was what I named myself as the guest. Now, what's really great is that you can strike up a conversation and both people can click on the microphone buttons on their screen and speak to one another and their messages will be translated into whatever language they have selected. But what's really great and really powerful for accessibility purposes is to also have the text spoken back to you. So I want to show you both as the host and the guest how to do that. If you click on the three dot menu at the top of your screen, you'll see a setting called autoplay messages. As the host or the guest in the app, make sure that's toggled on. In this case, it turns green. Once you've selected autoplay messages and you go back to the conversation, it will not only translate into your language in text, but it'll also do it as text to speech so that you can hear it. I'm going to just show you how to do that in the web version as a guest as well. So if I come up to settings, there's now a setting that it looks a little different on the web. It's called play speech output. So I'm going to toggle that on and it notifies me that speech output has been turned on. And so now when I go into the conversation again, I can hear the text read to me, not just that it shows up on the screen as text. Let's give it a try. Here I am as the host, and I'm gonna click on the microphone and share a message. And you'll see it show up on the guest screen, and you'll also hear it as well. Good morning, students. We have lots of really great things to learn about today, and I think it's going to be fun and exciting. I can't wait to get started. Here we go. Good morning, students. We have lots of really great things to learn about today, and I think it's going to be fun and exciting. I can't wait to get started. Here we go. So that is conversation mode. The host speaks and the guest listens if you have the, uh, the option, the setting turned on for that. Even if you don't, they'll still see the text show up in their native language. And it works the same way backwards, where the guest can speak and then it'll be translated back in the host's native language. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Microsoft Translator. It's such a powerful app. If you like this or any of the videos that I've shared here on this channel, please go ahead and hit the like button. Also, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and even turn on notifications so that you get notified every time we create more content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.